You say that the droplets racing down your room window and the torrent of rain blowing in sheets across the patio outside. You are really pissed off now because Jungkook planned the date for you and all of a sudden it started raining. Your hands were nervously fisting through the delicate lace of your red gown which had deep in a stunning way. Taking a deep breath, you grabbed a cup of your most favorite Americano coffee from the side table and taking a sip of it, you sat on the edge of the bed while thinking deeply it has been raining in your area since last 24 hours and there was no a news alert too. Sometimes the rain stopped for a couple of moments and sometimes suddenly started again. You dialed Jungkook's number but due to weak signals you were not able to contact him either. Jungkook is your boyfriend since last two months. You two are practically polar opposites. Somehow you two attracted each other. Well, people around Jungkook would often call him cold due to the wall he built up around of himself. But you were the first one or in other words luckiest to broke down that wall. Jungkook didn't realize when he fell in love with you so deeply that he couldn't resist himself to confess his feelings to you. You couldn't believe when he proposed you as you had always been crushing on Jungkook, he always remained soft towards you. He always holds your hand. The one who is quite more expressive when it comes to love or care for you. Jungkook always respected you and you were grateful for that. Suddenly you realized that it stopped raining as you didn't see it falling on your room window anymore. A small smile crept on your lips and you got up immediately from the bed and walked to the downstairs. After looking at your reflection in the mirror while you were checking all the lights and appliances, if they were off, your eyes fell on the huge photo that was displaying on the wall. It was your mom and dad while you were standing in the center, your parents didn't really care about you. They just gave you money and you could do whatever you want. Every month, a lot of money has been sent to your account by your parents. They are rich and live far away from you, but as they have an urge of getting more rich, they send you money because they think money can make you happy, but they never realized that you needed the most was their love. They have not that spare time that they could come to you and love you, but on weekends they both messages you to confirm if you are still alive or not, but you don't mind as you got habituated to it. According to you, living alone feels better and it feels more better when you have money to stay with your friend and no one will uh, question you about it. Grabbing the car keys from the marble table in the living room, you ran outside to your car before it get again start raining. After half an hour of drive, you reached his house after parking your car. You were walking to the main entrance door but suddenly you felt few raindrops falling on your head. Slowly the rain started to get worse and before you could reach the shadow you were completely drenched in the rain. You quickly took a step up to his house and knocked on the door but the door was already creaked open. You slowly entered in and searched for Jungkook in the living room but he was not there. You looked for him in the kitchen and back side of the house but couldn't find him. Shivering with the cold, you looked up and found that the light of Jungkook's room was on. Sighing in a relief, you went upstairs but he was not in his room even. While you were looking for him, suddenly the shower tap on indicating that Jungkook was in the bathroom. On the other side, Jungkook came out of the bathroom. He wiped his wet hair with a towel in his hand. His eyes darted around the bedroom and a big smile crept on his lips when he saw you standing by his room window and looking down through it. He tiptoed and slowly came towards you. Jungkook, you sat turning around with a smile.
oh my he gasped as he felt your dress all drenched oh it's okay cook i'm fine you said wrapping your it's not okay just change your dress before you catch a cold he sent and ran to his wardrobe to give you some oversized shirt you made a pout with teary eyes when you saw him panicking he came to you and handling you a shirt he dragged you inside the bathroom you let out a sigh and closing the door you wore the oversized shirt after few minutes you came back in a room and found jungkook standing in front of the dressing table while holding hair dryer in his hand come sweetie i will dry your hair first he said giving you a sweet smile oh come on cook i can help myself you said walking to him I know you can but still I want to help you. He said gently making you sit on the wooden chair. Once your hair got dry, Jungkook pulled you into a hug. Who aren't we going out for a date? You asked making up out. Jungkook let out a chuckle and tightly he gave you a warm kiss on your forehead. Who said so? The rain has stopped and we are going to out to our dinner to baby girl. He said tucking a strand of your hair behind your ear. But my dress is so wet. You ask knowing your eyebrows. Don't worry you stay here and rest for a while until I will iron your dress. He said and made you lay in the bed while pulling on the blanket on you. You smiled looking at him which he mirrored back and pressing a soft kiss on your scalp. He went to the other room to iron your dress. After some time, he came back and gave you a dress. There you go, beautiful. He said, handling you a dress, giving him on his cheeks. You ran to the bathroom, leaving him blushing behind. You came out, and Jungkook's mouth wide opened as he looked at you from head to toe. You look absolutely stunning. I just can't stop staring at you. He said. Rosy cheeks turned into a tomato as he sleeps. You didn't click. Jungkook before heading to the downstairs. After 20 minutes of driving, finally we both arrived at the restaurant. I thought it would be a public like everyone else, but no, here it is. We are alone. He arranged it on the hotel terrace. As per my taste, after seeing the arrangements, I just got all set up. At first when I saw it I just wondered whether it was for us or not and stopped in my tracks but Jungkook dragged me back into the reality by holding my hand and walking to the beautifully decorated table Is it really for us or maybe we came into a wrong place cook I asked in confusion He let out a giggle and coming in front of my me facing me he had my hand and gently rubbing it he kissed back of my head the cold breeze was blowing and my hair was also coming out on my head jungkook tucked the strand of my hair behind my ear and gave me his one of his heart stopping smile we are just at right place is nothing in front of you he said holding my hand tightly and making me walk to the table Inside millions of butterflies were fluttering in my mini stomach I was feeling so lucky and blessed that I got a caring and loving boyfriend like him he is the man that a girl could wish for I was blushing and who wouldn't when your boyfriend in this beautiful weather with a stunning dinner set up kissed your hand the decoration on the table left me off guard the petals flowers that were spread on the table looked splendid The cute candle lamps and the lighting was beyond beautiful. Everything looked like a dream, and I didn't want to wake up from it. A dream where Jungkook and I are together forever. He dragged the chair for me and helped me to sit on it, and then he came opposite to me and sat on his place. Jungkook smiled, handing me a menu. What do you want to eat, baby girl? He asked in his soft voice. I'm nothing like dinner food like japchae, bimbap, or kimchi. I said, smiling at him. Jungkook let out a small chuckle before calling the waiter who came to us at once. Ma'am, your order, please. He asked, smiling at me. 
Feeling little uncomfortable, I turned to the other side. I will order, he said. And then the waiter turned to him. Oh my God, he is so understanding. After ordering the food, he held my hand and looked into my eyes. His deep eyes can swallow the whole ocean in them. Then how may I resist? We were having a conversation, and soon our meal came. It was too delicious and best food I had ever eaten. Maybe I was having it with Jungkook. After having the food, the waiter came holding a register so the customer could put the bill in it. I tried to pay, but Jungkook firmly said no, making me frown. After paying the bill, we were slowly walking back to our car, hands in hands. When suddenly Jungkook called me. Can I ask you something, my beautiful love? He asked warmly. I nodded with a smile. Do you know that how should person tell when his girlfriend is so beautiful and appealing? He asked in a serious tone. My cheeks started to heat up as I looked around to hide my blushing face. What should I say? I replied, giggling internally. Don't say anything. As I know, I won't be able to save myself even after that. He said, making me gulp down. But all of a sudden, some girls walked past by us who gave Jungkook a shocking look while biting their lips. But then, looking at me, they whispered into each other's ear. The man is so handsome. How a girl like her can date a man like him? She really doesn't deserve him. She said, laughing sarcastically. Yeah, look at her. She looks like her man. She said to her friends here. Their voices were audible enough to be heard by us. Hey, who the hell are you to talk about my friend like this? Have you ever seen yourself in the mirror? He said his voice was a bit scary, so that girls ran away from. I looked at Jungkook with teary eyes that hurt him tightly. Why you are getting sad if anyone gives you hate? That means they are jealous of your beauty. You are the most beautiful girl and I want you to be like the way you are. People will come, judge you and go. But remember, your loved one will always stay with you who wanna see you happy. He said, caressing my hair. I nodded in a response, but deep down I started to feel insecure. Reaching our car, we sat in and then left Seoul as he insisted me to stay with him for some days. Reaching the house, I went to Jungkook's room without saying anything. Changing into a white shirt, I laid on the bed and grabbing my phone, I went on an Instagram where Jungkook posted a picture of him and me together. The caption says, this is my girlfriend, I, I love her so much, well, I have nothing to do with haters, comments, she is my girlfriend and she will stay forever. After reading the caption, I went through the thousands of comments and some people were calling me which waste of time, idiot, unmatched couple and some of them were calling me fool. I started to cry badly, feeling disheartened throughout my life and never got this much. I had so many followers who call me beautiful angel and so on. But then why I am getting a lot of love after being his girlfriend? I thought to myself I'll have But all of a sudden the door broke open and Jungkook ran inside. He got flint when he saw you laying on the bed and crying heavily. Don't you dare to cry for those people who wanted to see you sad. You sat between the sobbing while trying to get out of Who held you by your Don't you dare to say nonsense, you deserve me, he almost yelled. His eyes were full of rage while possessiveness was lingering in them. But that comment they called me, you were mumbling when he cut you off, until we both are together and happy, nothing else should matter to us, he said gently rubbing your hair. You were in your room getting bored while your friend was in the living room talking to someone on the call. 
Suddenly an idea hit your mind as you got up and went to the downstairs. It Walking to the downstairs, you looked at Jungkook who smiled looking at you. Instead of smiling back, he bit your lips and sat on the sofa. Jungkook heard the race faster. You started to tease him by biting your lips. I am on call, it's important, he whispered slowly. You smirked and soon your smirk was replaced with a pout, your big Round eyes dropped and eyelids curved, making your face appear even more cute and then suddenly you kissed him and that's it. It was enough to make him crazy, cutting the car, he threw his mobile phone on the couch and lifting you up, he took you to your bedroom. Don't call me Jungkook, just call me honey from now on, he said with a smile. After three hours, he said.